uh, object that we've been working on, we've been talking about bridges. And what I want to do right now is just talk about what we've learned so far. Okay, so first thing we're going to look at is, can anybody share with me the three the three main types of bridges? Trust. Okay, is trust a main type of bridge? No. Now, what is a trust bridge? Okay, so it's got some triangles in it. It's a beam. It's a beam. It's actually a modified beam. Okay, so a beam. We've got that one. Yes. Suspension bridge. A suspension bridge. And an arch bridge. So those are our three main types of bridges. So as we look at those three main types of bridges, these are the main characteristics of each. Notice that an arch bridge actually can be several different constructions, several different patterns. Sometimes the arch is at the top, sometimes the arch is on the bottom. Okay? Beam bridges. What's unique about a beam bridge? What makes it different than the other two? There's no real support. The supports are on the bottom, but what do we know about the, the, the bridge structure itself? It's very flat. It looks like a beam. Okay? We've got the arch with the arches and then suspension. What makes a suspension bridge different than an arch bridge? It uses cables to keep the uses cables to distribute the tension. Okay, so it uses cables to distribute the tension. Yes. Nothing can go into the water. Nothing can go into the water. Okay, so we know that these are our three main types. As Kyle pointed out, he's talking about a truss bridge. How many of you are building truss bridges or think you're thinking about truss bridges? Okay, so you're just modifying a beam, correct? You're just modifying a beam. And you're putting what kind of structures on those beams? Triangles. triangles. Why triangles? Uh, How do we know? Why, why is a triangle the strongest? Okay, so when weight comes down on it, it distributes it out. Okay, so is that kind of what a suspension bridge tries to do too? Yes. Tries to distribute that? Okay, so let's take a look at some bridges. Some of these you guys have already seen. Some of them may be new. Okay, look in the top corner. What kind of bridge? The top one up there. It's got an arch in it, so it's going to be an arch bridge. What about the second one? Suspension third. B. What about the bottom corner over here? Arch. Arch. This one down here. B. Oh, that's a no, that's a that's a triangle one. Put the ruler down. That's a truss. No, it's not. What kind of bridge is that? It is a beam. It is a beam. It's actually flat. Guys, give me What are these for? Anybody know anything about this bridge? I do. Where is the other part? The other part is up there. Okay, let me go over the island. Listen to what Charlie just said. What do we know about this bridge? Oh, I see. It actually goes underwater. Anybody know this bridge? Anybody I know, know that I've done it so many times, but I never put up a window, so I wouldn't put it down. 
Go to Virginia Beach every summer. Yeah. Not sure. Oh no, wait. I haven't actually been. Oh, it's not Florida. It's actually Washington D.C. Okay. Because I don't know the exact name of it, and if I did, I could even pronounce it. But does anybody have any no idea what this bridge is? This one right here? It's not Sydney. It's actually in China. China. Leave it alone. Okay. Okay. As I explained to you, I'm working with three other teachers, and we already knew the kind of problem that we wanted to use, but the seventh grade teacher figured out that this particular write-up was what would make her kids get involved. And somebody already pointed out Sydney did. She asked me if I watch Adventure Time. I do not. I do not. But we went with this write-up because it works really well with what we want to do here. So it says, Princess Bubblegum of the Candy Kingdom wishes to build a bridge between her kingdom and the kingdom of the Woodland Fairies, which is separated by a chocolate river, which is 25 meters wide. The river... The river is 25 meters wide. She requests that the big bridge be partially made of food to represent her kingdom and wood to represent the woodland fairies. To span the gap, the bridge must be at least 25 meters long. When choosing the best bridge, the princess will be comparing the strength of the bridge as well as the cost. Your job is to design, build, and test a bridge, then write a proposal to the bubblegum princess for her decision. You must also suggest a way to test the bridges or judge the bridges. So does everybody kind of get the picture of what we're trying to do here? Okay, so here's a quick question. Do you think we can actually build a 25 meter bridge? Yes. Okay. So Kyle just pointed out, if I work for an engineering firm, do I actually go out and actually build the bridge? No. No, what do I do? I design it, but then I, I scale it. So we're going to need to scale it. So can anybody think of a good scale that would be easy to represent? 25 centimeters. Okay. So you have just pointed out. You can just point out that this is, looks like it might be a good possibility. So that we're going to do one centimeter equals one meter. Okay? Can anybody else think of something that might be helpful here? Well, not necessarily, not necessarily a... I, I'm okay with that scale. I actually like that scale. It works really well. The uh, scale of the materials that are being used. Okay, well, the scale of the materials, if we know that this is a one to one ratio, one centimeter equals one meter, would it not correlate back to the other pieces? So one centimeter material is going to be one meter real materials. Okay. Can anybody come up with an idea of how we might, how we might judge these? Okay, strength, and how do we measure strength? Is it weight? Mass. Okay, so we're going to look at the mass. <laughs> but is it just mass? Look, we're going to actually have several different pieces of material to use. When I go to the bubblegum princess and I'm making a proposal, When I'm making a proposal to the bubblegum princess about this bridge, do you think do you think she's just going to care about the mass? <laughs> How much it'll hold? Oh, what did you say? She wants it to be cheap, so the other thing I need to calculate is the cost. So cost is going to play a uh, play a role in here. Okay. 
Okay, so there's a couple of things you got to take into consideration. The cost of this bridge versus the amount of material or the mass that it will hold. Okay? So everybody understand the challenge? Yep. Yep. You're going to build a bridge. You've got to meet the requirements for the length. But you need to think about that length. You really do need to think about what this picture looks like. What is it that we're trying to span when you come to build your bridges? Okay? You have until about 2 210. Okay? You've got about till 210, maybe 215 to build your bridges. Okay? At that point, shh, at that point, we will stop and we will have a discussion and we will judge whose bridge is the best. Okay? Does everybody understand the challenge? Okay. Okay. Yes. Well, look, so how long is it?